I want to, uh, gentlemen, I want to introduce to you uh, members of the Joint Chiefs of Staff who are visiting here this morning. But uh, I knew that you would want to say hello to them, and they'd want to say hello to you. General LeMay, who's head of the Air Force. Admiral Anderson, who's head of the Navy. General Wheeler, who's head of the Army. Oh, and General Shoup, who's uh, head of the Marine Corps. Uh, I want to welcome all of you to the White House. I read about your uh, meeting last night. It seemed to me that you showed uh, more uh, initiative in some ways than the uh, governor's conference down in uh, Miami. And uh, we are impressed by, I want to congratulate Mr. Stratton on his overwhelming majority. Those of us who just skim by are properly uh, <laughs> admiring. We want to welcome you to the White House, particularly because this uh, belongs to all of you and because it's so intimately connected with the best in American history. These uh, trees, which are just behind you, were planted by Andrew Jackson when he was here at the White House, and the tallest tree over there was planted by the first president who came to the White House, uh, John Adams. So all around you is the story of the United States, and uh, I think all of us uh, have a pride in our country. I recently took a trip to Europe, and I was impressed once again by the strong feeling that uh, most people have, even though they may on occasions be critical of our policies, but the strong feeling that the United States stands for freedom, that the promises in the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, while they may not fully be achieved, that we are attempting to move to the best of our ability in that direction, that without the United States, they would not be free, and with the United States, they are free, and it is the United States which stands on God all the way from Berlin to Saigon. So I think as citizens of this country, you can take pride in it. I want to congratulate the American Legion. This is only one of many good things the American Legion does, ball, athletics, working with youth. I think the fact is the American Legion looks to the future as well as the past. So that uh, we want to express our thanks to them and I want to welcome all of you to the White House. No group could be uh, more appropriately uh, visiting here now. We want you to feel very much at home. Thank you.